for the sign of Aquarius. Hello and welcome to my channel. So Aquarius, the recent past energy between you and your person, five of swords and king of swords. So with this five of swords, it's showing that you could have found yourself with some mixed feelings. Maybe about life in general, or maybe your person, or maybe a few people. It would have been important for you not to ignore these feelings, but to make sure that you also didn't speak every word you were thinking and feeling either, because that could have ruined the very thing that you wanted the most, such as close, intimate relationships with your friends and your lover. So... You would have needed to think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you knew they deserved it. Yeah, it was about trying to pick your battles, or that's what you should have done. Now, it's with the King of Swords. This King of Swords, it stands for a very powerful, very opinionated person. And this person will also be really forceful. He will often, but not always, have hair on the darker end of the spectrum. It could go either way. You could have been tempted to think only about how things affect you personally. Especially when this card is not representing an actual person or man in your life. So you would have needed to consider the feelings of others before you act. This King of Swords, like I said, is a very, very forceful energy. You may not have been able to get this person in your life to change his mind or to do what you wanted. So you might have needed to change something major about your behavior, thoughts, or expectations. But don't overextend your reach. So, recent past energy, Five of Swords... And King of Swords it's clarified with. So it looks like there was a big blow up or a fight between you and your person. Yeah, because this Five of Swords is about conflict. Yeah, somebody was really mad. Yeah, I'm picking up it was you, Aquarius. Um, yeah, and you were dealing, you're dealing with someone in the recent past. Or you, you and your person had a big fight and um, it looks like you probably felt like your person wasn't treating treating you the way that you thought they should. They could have overstepped their bounds. Uh, your person might have mistreated you. And they probably were really forceful towards you. And they they weren't sensitive to to your emotions or feelings or your thoughts at all. They were not sensitive. It just kind of brushed you off. And it made you really, really upset. Yeah, you were ready to fight, or you did fight. Yeah, you didn't like the way they were tr treating you. So, let's move on over and let's see what we got coming up. For the present time, the first week of October. Well, we got the Eight of Wands, and it's with the Ten of Pentacles. Now, the Eight of Wands, it's showing that there could be a lot of things up in the air. You might start to feel frustrated, tired of waiting. But this card is an indicator that you're probably going to have to be patient a while longer. You've done all that you can. Now, decisions, they have to be made by other people. So, when you get this Eight of Wands, nothing seems to be moving ahead, but... Just remember, don't force things. And I say this because if you try to force whatever this is you're waiting on or whatever's coming in, it could backfire on you. Yeah, you know, so don't force it. Just let it take, take its natural course of action. Just know that sometimes our actions, they're all in the wrist. All you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. You put your best out there, now you... Just wait. That's it. Just you just gotta wait for it. You don't want it to backfire. Now, Eight of Wands is with a Ten of Pentacles. 
This card is beautiful. Everyone wants the Ten of Pentacles. It says that you've got a great deal to be thankful for. Your relationships of all kinds, your finance, your health, all these things are going well. So you might need to consider how you got to such a happy situation. Make the best of it and be sure to share what you have. Even if it's only a kind word spoken to someone you need because we all know about that lady named Karma. We get back what we give out. Yeah, whatever you put out to the universe comes right back to you. Or whatever you put out to people, it comes right back to you. Yeah, that lady named Karma. So, first week of October, Eight of Wands, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. So there's some communication coming in. It's coming if you're trying to figure out if things are going to, if you're going to hear from someone or if something is coming in towards you. It is. It is. It's on its way. It may seem like it's taking longer than you would like for it to though, but yeah, I'm picking up so I'm picking up for a lot of you it's communication and it could be from this from your person who you felt like they were not treating you right yeah and you were ready to fight or you did fight so the communication is coming in and this person is going to want a second chance yeah ten of pentacles is a very happy indicator when it comes to love if you're currently committed it can mean that the two of you will move to the next level. Living together, engagement, marriage, childbirth. All those things are indicated by this card. So it's a very... Um, for a time, it's going to be like a very um, peaceful, happy period in your life. So enjoy it. Make sure your lover... Or your person knows how much they mean to you. And, yeah. Ten of Pentacles can be about a second chance. So, whoever, like I said, whoever this person was. Your, your lover. Your friend. Um, who you felt were not treating you right. Or they were just um, not nice to you. They're, they're coming in to talk. They want to make things right. They want a second chance. Yeah, so. It probably it probably will seem like it's not happening fast enough. They're not reaching out to you as quick as you would like for them to. But they're, they're coming to reach out to you. They want to they fix it. Okay, they want a second chance. Or it could be something that you're waiting on that's coming coming in with this Eight of Wands here. But whatever you do, don't force things. Let it take its natural let it take its natural course of action. Yeah, you don't want it to backfire, whatever this is. But for most of you Aquarius, it's communication from, from your person who pissed you off. So Let's move on over and let's see what the challenge is going to bring. Now we got the Seven of Pentacles and it's with the Hermit card. The Seven of Pentacles, it can be a card about returns on investments. It can be literal, such as a bank account returning money to you. Or figuratively, investments of time and effort and energy that you put into a relationship. You'll be reaping what you have sown. And this is very positive. You'll be feeling more secure than you have in a while. And things will be moving along really well. You'll be feeling hopeful about the future with a really, really good cause. So you might have to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, situations that you're already involved with. Or whether to spend your energy trying to bring more into your life. Yeah, I like this Seven of Pentacles well, actually, the, I don't know if you can see the picture. But there's a lady, she's watering a plant. Seven of Pentacles is the card above the word challenge. She's watering a plant, and it was probably just a little, teeny, little, tiny thing when she first got it. 
and she gets up every morning to water it, tend to the soil, make sure no bugs are eating it up. And before she goes to bed, she does the same thing. Make sure it's got some sunlight and she takes really good care of it. So like I said, when she first got it, it was probably just a little teeny tiny little thing. Now it's about 10 feet tall. The leaves are dark green and rich and in color and and feel and look. It's just a beautiful plant. Yeah, you can tell somebody loves it. And it has been taking really good care of it. So that's what she does. And like I said, it's about reaping what you have sown. Now she's experiencing the benefits of all the energy she put into that plant over the years. It's growing. So it's this card, Seven of Pentacles, is with the Hermit card. Now the Hermit card, it can be a very spiritual card. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. It's kind of like a strength card in the tarot. You could feel like you're in the frame of mind where you just want to be alone. Don't hesitate to take it. Even if it's just a five minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. This is also a card about trying really hard to do the right thing. But you want to make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally. And not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. So, Aquarius, yeah, your person, whoever this was that pissed you off. Maybe it was a co-worker if you're not dealing with anyone. Like I said, they want a second chance, and they're going to put in the effort, energy, and time to make things right. Because this person really wants to make this connection work. And they're going to prove it to you. Or, you could be making sure they prove it to you. If they don't prove it to you, you're going to make sure they do. And what you do is you go into hermit mode because you were really pissed. You were mad and angry at this person. So now it's time to clear your mind and get rid of the baggage that came with that big blow up or that big fight. Yeah, they come in for, for a second chance. So now you don't want to carry that baggage over into the the um the chance to make things right. So you realize that you need to go into hermit mode. Yeah, you just take some time for yourself. Get rid of that baggage that came with that big fight, that big blow up with your person. Yeah, so they come in for an apology. They want a second chance. You're going to let them know, yeah, you got to prove it to me. You got to really let me know that you really want this to work. Or this is what they're going to do. They're going to prove it to you. And you're going to make sure they do. I don't know what the fight was about, but you are really upset. Yeah, you were running around like this man in the... Um, the card of the Five of Swords. He's got two swords in his hand. He's running around ready to cut anybody's head off. Anybody who got in his way, he would have. He would have uh, just cut him. He would have cut him. So you're in hermit mode, and you just you you know that you need time alone, just to get rid of the baggage that this conflict brought or. Whatever the situation was that was really nasty. So that's a challenge. Just move on over. Let's see what the outcome is going to be. Now we got the two of wands and we got the two of cups. The two of wands. It actually. It's a time when it's important for you to keep your balance in every way that you can. Even to the simple mundane boring things like eating right getting enough rest. The Two of Wands, it does indicate a partnership with another person. This could be business or personal or both. It reminds us to stay mindful to the give and take. 
that's required for successful relationships. Okay, so it's with the Two of Cups. Now, the Two of Cups, it can refer to a romantic partnership, but that's not its only connotation. It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. This card, Two of Cups, it says that things are likely to be going really well and you'll be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. Yeah, this card, it represents true love. There's a balanced partnership. There's a balanced partnership there and commitment. All the things that most of us hope for in our lives when it comes to love and relationships. So the outcome, two of wands clarified by the two of cups. So I'm picking up that a lot of you Aquarius, you have two paths towards a future. So you got two options. So you're trying to make a decision. Not only are you are you trying to clear your mind and get rid of the baggage that the conflict or the blow up or the fight brought to the connection, but you're also trying to decide which path to take. And you're trying to make a decision. Yeah, so I don't know if some of you are dealing with two people and you're trying to figure out should you go with the person that made you bad or should you go with this other option. Yeah, so yeah, so you're trying to decide which path to take because this two of wands is about two options. Two of Wands is a card above the word outcome. He's got his hand tied to one wand and his ankle is tied to the other wand. But he's more focused towards the other wand where, the, where he's looking into the bird's eye. So there is one direction, there's one path that you feel you're more focused towards. Now it could be with this person or it could be with someone else. Or it could be another situation that you're more focused, you're more focused towards. But your hand is tied to the other one that you're not really focused on. So it's about making a decision. Now, because it's clarified with this two of cups, uh, yeah. Wow. One of these options. You feel like it would be the perfect situation. It's just what you want. Because you feel like it's the ideal partner. It's a harmony. It's a union. It's a deep connection. It's true love. So one of these options you feel brings you this two of cups. And that's the direction you're more focused Or maybe not, but it's about making a decision. Cause like I said, you're you're really focused in one direction where your ankle is tied and your eyes are looking right into this bird's eye and you got your back turned to the wand that, that you only have your hand tied to. So yeah, it's about making a choice. But one of these options is beautiful. Two of Cups is beautiful. Like I said, it's it's either a perfect situation or it's a it's a true love, a very romantic love, and that you know could lead to proposal or marriage. Yeah. So making making a decision is the outcome. One is absolutely beautiful. But for some reason, you can't jump. You can't just jump right in because you got your hand tied 
to the other option.